Hey guys, Chaotic Confusion here, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, as you might notice, I have some new weapons. The one good thing about having already completed the game is that uh, I get to sync all of the uh, schematics and stuff I had from my other games with this one, so I already have all the schematics that I've found in previous playthroughs, so I did make myself some new weapons. Um, so that is one nice thing about it. I did run around and gather some stuff and uh, around Haven and such off screen so I didn't have to or off video so I didn't have to worry about taking up the time doing that and went around and talked to people and such so uh, we are getting ready to report to the Chantry now I know it's going to be a bunch more cutscenes and stuff but uh, they are somewhat important to the story so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that right now I might skip some of it I'm not sure yet um, or at least shorten it a little bit. Skip it a bit. I will leave it up long enough so that the, uh, you can read what they say if you want to. But it is a fairly long cutscene and I don't want to be in there forever doing it. I'll probably talk over some of it too. Just so I'm not sitting here doing nothing the whole time. Does it trouble you? It stopped spreading, and it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important yeah. is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. The stuff like that never turns out bad. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. Me this too. is Lady Josephine Montilly. One thing that kind of bothers me about this game is that everybody looks like super shiny, like they're all sweating. You speak like we're, it, You've just it's the, uh, they're up in the mountains, it's snowing outside, it can't be that hot. My position here involves a I know it's kind of a complaint everybody had about this game master. though. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the mages or Templars for help is currently out of the question. So if I wasn't with the Inquisition... Well, let's be honest, they would have censured us no matter what. And you not being here isn't an option. There is something you that can seems do. seems to take forever. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle I really wanted has to get going. to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle. Look for other opportunities to... We need a... In the meantime, right. let's think of other options. Okay, we got through that. Listen to part of it, then I got bored. Right, to the war table. I have one power, so... Huh? Chancellor Rodrik came to speak with you. Alright, so 
had to actually skip this. I want to skip it. It's not that important. Those are gotta be the ugliest ravens or crows. I think they're supposed to be ravens. They're ugly. Alright. It's not like I have a lot of choice on who I'm taking with me. Not yet. I'll probably pick up some stuff, like uh, metal and stuff, if it happens to be right on my way through. Just because I want to be able to make myself some better armor also. But I'll try not to bog down the uh, the play too much with doing that. World of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know Look what the loading did screens the take forever. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but it's kind of insulting. You'll get no here, as a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Bad, Varric. Just uh, bad. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The such We came to secure horses from... I grew up here. But with the Mage Templar... Mother Giselle's at the cross. Corporal Vale and our men are do... You best get going. Normally, if I was playing on my own, I'd just watch all those, because I like watching the uh, cutscenes, but I'm not going to do that if it takes forever. Let's see. I know that there is a quest in this building over here, so I'm going to grab that. As obviously, you can see on the mini-map anyway, it's there, but... We will think, actually, some royal elf roofed up here, so I do want to grab that while I'm here. Don't want to really get out of my way. I want to. Don't want to skip that since it's a bit more rare. Polis, why are you injured? Did you fall off the edge of something? Jumping off things. Mother Giselle cannot be far. Like, you see all the dead, uh, clerics and stuff. Alright. Freezing suddenly. You see all the dead clerics and stuff here, and it's like, they couldn't have, uh, forces. They're trying to skipped protect them. The Looks like they could use a hand. Hold. We are not I do not think they can, I'm almost leveled up again. We are not Templars. We mean you no harm. Look like they're listening. I hate this stupid glyphs on the ground. Hi. Rude. This is almost it. Be ready. More coming our way. Oot. Huh. I know I'm bad looting in the middle of battle. Sometimes the stuff disappears when the when it goes to a cutscene though if you don't uh, loot it right away. 
Okay, where are they? There, there. Hey! Rude. You couldn't even see me. I was still. I think he was trying to charge the other person, actually, but... Temporarily forgot what I was doing there. Are simply terrified. So many good people. What happened? Fear makes us go to them. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something. You want me to? If I thought, will they even let, let me put it? The power is the unified vote. It's good of you. Trying to just get I past this so we can get back to the uh, get back to questing. You could. It is not much. Get to go wing already. Great. This is our first quest here. Bread. Going to be a long, hungry night. These people need food. They're around. Can't skip that, I guess. Good eating, cooks easy, and no lords around to kill you for poaching. Too dangerous to go hunting now. Right. More likely to find mages. Okay. More cold weather coming. Full villages. Where are their coats? What do you need to keep these refugees warm? Blankets, warm clothes, all of it. These poor sods lost everything when the mages and the Templars went crazy. If we were in a village, I could just pinch a blanket off a clothesline and be fine. On. Out here, I'm sure the I hate it when you can't actually skip the conversation. Just been able to find them. Farewell. And see you. Alright, so we need to go complete some quests and stuff. So we can get the power so we can actually go to Valrayo. Leveling up, I think, what I was doing. Yes. Trying to decide exactly what I want to do here. Kind of like the stealth tree. But I think there's something in here. I like this one. Nobody else is ready to level up yet. Well, we're at Tinterland. I know we need to do the Master of Horses, but we have to wait a little bit for that one. Go hunt us some rams. Easier with uh, ranged guys. That I can't do it with my main character, but there. Heck. much easier to do it with the uh, the mages here, or the could do it with Varric too, I suppose. But Solus kills them pretty quickly, so it's usually who I use when I'm hunting if I'm not a uh, ranged myself. Plus, he can freeze them so they don't run away. Got some bad guys over there. 
All right, so we have all of our meat. We're turning that into the hunter. Alright, one out of four power. Time to go do some other stuff. I think I got fried. Thanks, Thoris. Okay, so we are at the apost- oops. More dudes. We are at the apostate hideout, as I was trying to say. Is part of what we need to get rid of before we go to Val Royale. We don't have the option to get rid of it after. So, in case anybody's wondering where it is on the map, it's up there. There's the crossroads. Alright, so let's need you to break this down. Works better with opposite elements, but we do well enough. Let's see, I don't want to worry about you. You, on the other hand, need to go away. <laughs> Oh, come on, you want to play, right? I want to play. I suppose I actually should pay attention to what my health is. Whoa. Freezing up on me there. Don't do that. Injured, why aren't you taking a potion? With I have potions dead, here. Refugees should have an easier time on the king's room. I believe the renegade will still present a problem. Yes, like I uh, said in the earlier video, I do play this with mods. It's like the first Dragon Age game that uh, the Dragon Age Origins you had healing poultices and stuff. And you could use as many of them as you wanted, as long as you had them available. You could make them, you could buy them, whatever. And you got to Dragon Age 2, and I think you were limited to, like, one potion a battle or something. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I actually played that. Then you get in here, and you can only hold, like, five, four or five potions. I think you could maybe get up to eight with the different, uh... Inquisition perks or whatever. But, uh... For this playthrough, I just went ahead and got it so you could carry multiple healing potions, because... Kind of like the way they had it in Dragon Age 1. I know it's supposed to be a balanced thing and all that, but... I know it was something many people complained about when this game came out. Now we got our first uh, rift out here. When we're out, guy. Ow! Oh. Warp at the wrong time, dude. Where'd you go? No, we went clear back here. 
What are you guys doing all the way back there? Good grief. Stupid warping demon dude. Prepare for next wave. in the middle of a uh, combat animation couldn't move out of the way okay appear clear back here Coming up on the Templar encampment now, that's where it is kind of on the map. But take care of these guys. The Templars have secured a position ahead. Just like we took care of the mages. Hey. None of that. you get much closer to combat than you should, Beric. Of course, probably sometimes I get much more involved in combat faster than I should. Technically, for a rogue. Alright, so our last guy is out here, so we'll go ahead and take care of him, and then we will be done with this part. We shouldn't run into so many, uh, shouldn't run into so many guys now that are fighting. Which is one of the main reasons to, uh, do this, because they just get annoying after a while. Having to stop and fight so many different groups. Alright, so we have six power now, because we've uh, gone through several quests and stuff. So we actually have enough to go to Valroyo, and I've completed the Templars and the uh, Apostates. So the road will be a little bit clearer. It's, like I said, you can't do those two things after you go to Valroyo, because it changes too much. More stuff changes. Attitudes change, I don't know. Anyway, just going to get over to uh, the bridge here. We're pretty close to finding the uh, the horse master's farm. It's actually just across the bridge a little ways. So this is where I'm going to stop this, I think. Uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, obviously, I ended up cutting out a lot of the traveling and battle. Just because... It's kind of the same thing over and over again, and it'll probably get boring if I leave it all in. But I want to show at least uh, completing some of the more important quests and such, at least after I get to the main area. But uh, as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate anybody who checks out this channel. And uh, I said, uh, I've said in previous videos, if there's any games you might think that you might want to watch me play, just let me know. I don't have a lot of the uh, specifically newer games, although super interesting newer games I guess haven't come out. I do have all the Dragon Ages with the uh, expansions and stuff. I have all the Witcher games. I actually never finished Witcher 2 or even started Witcher 3 because I was going to school at the time and just kind of got distracted. I own them, but I never actually played them. But uh, just general, general games like that, if anybody... Uh, I have Skyrim. Um, 
you know, just anything, or if there is a newer game that you'd like to see me play, just let me know. But uh, like I said, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in a future video.